right, and here, I'm in a one way street. Uh, that's right. Okay, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I thought I'd give you a Wokingham Half Marathon 2023 course uh, recce. I managed to drive the course uh, the other week. Um, all this footage is sped up, so uh, you don't have to worry I wasn't speeding. Um, so you're left out of Cantley Park and pretty much straight away into a sort of a steady incline. Um, it kind of goes up for about half a K and goes downhill for a little bit. And then you take a sharp left around this roundabout and then you're into quite a nasty little climb. I think it's about 2%. So you climb about 20 meters. Um, so if you're not warmed up properly, uh, this could seriously uh, spike your heart rate. Um, at the end of this street, you take a right, um, and this is where we're jumping to some footage from uh, the Wing It runner who ran the course last year. Very grateful to him. Um, I wasn't able to drive this bit because I would have had to turn right uh, down a one-way street, um, which, as you can see from the beginning, uh, I tried to do <laughs> and, uh, and got beat. Um, anyway, the second kilometer is um, is pretty flat, um, and then you take uh, a left, and basically you head back down um, the hill that you came up. Um, now back to the car. Um, so this is quite nice. This is quite a um, relatively gentle. Uh, decline so uh, any time you would have lost at the beginning you can kind of make up uh, here and then you end up uh, at the end of this little uh, road here which is sort of fairly straightened down you end up taking a little left and actually running down the other side of uh, Cantley Park where you start it so you see the left uh, down here um, and yeah, so Cantley Park is now on your left. So if anyone's coming to watch you um, uh, and they happen to be in Cantley Park, they can quite easily double back uh, and sort of stand on this corner here. Um, I imagine this road will be closed, obviously. Then you're taking the right. So yeah, it's good for spectators, this kind of area, because you pass the area sort of two or three times. Um, Okay, so then this is all uh, slightly downhill, very slightly downhill, and pretty flat, uh, and you're heading into uh, a sort of a new development. Um, and then you take a left at the first roundabout, um, and there'll be a cut in a second, um, because uh, as I was driving, unfortunately, I went straight on. Um, so yeah, you're into a left, and then uh, the road goes up over the A329M. Uh, and this is the uh, the first of four kind of fairly steep little bumps um, as you go over these motorways. Um, so it's up one side and pretty steep down the other side. Um, I mean, you know, if you're a if you're a hill runner or a fell runner, these are not hills as such. These are, are just little bumps. Um, but Wokingham does advertise itself as a fast uh, half marathon, and um, I'd actually say it's um, it's got quite a bit of elevation. Now I've slowed the camera down here at 5k, you take an out to the left and back for about sort of 400 meters. I think that literally just makes it up to the half marathon distance. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and then you're basically, uh, this is fairly flat. This is called uh, the straight mile. Um, and you uh, this goes along for, um, for the next couple of kilometers or so. You're going along, um, it's ever so slightly downhill for a bit. Um, and uh, but basically it's it's fairly straight. This is the time to kind of be getting into the into the running. Um, it's fairly uh, idyllic countryside on either side, and we're at six k now into the run. So you've done uh, yeah quite a bit of of, uh, in, of going up and down at the beginning, um, and then the road sort of goes fairly flat for a while, and then it's gonna in a moment it's gonna go up again. Uh, on a bump over the um, the M4 this time, so uh, this is your second little motorway um, bridge over, flyover. Um, so again, this is going to be uh, hard on the lungs going up, and then you get a nice little run down on the other side. So yeah, little undulations. Um, so yeah, you're 7k in, so a third of the way in. Uh, apologies, this is all in kilometres for anyone who works in miles. Uh, that's just the way I do it. Um, you're welcome to do the uh, the calculations. I know that 8k is five miles and that's about as good as I get. Um, so this section, I'd say the middle third of the uh, the race is all pretty flat, which is great. So uh, off, just after 8k, um, you take a, uh, a left, a right, sorry, I beg your pardon. Um, <clears throat> um, here it is coming up now. Uh, and now you're into kind of uh, countryside, kind of country villagey kind of area. Um, it's got nice fields on either side. 
this is probably the uh, the fairly enjoyable part of the race I imagine um, you've done the sort of the nasty ups and downs at the beginning um, and yeah you're at 9k uh, on the B3018 uh, um, you see the cars coming towards me had the headlamps on because it was quite late at night um, well, it was getting into dusk when I did this um, but this is a nice little road to run down fairly straight uh, this is the time probably to be sort of picking up the pace I missed the junction um, and now I went back on it and um, this is a quite a narrow little country lane um, I'll sort of buzz down this is the only uh, section of the course I'd say which is at all slightly uh, uneven underfoot you can see the roads in uh, needs a bit of repairing but generally it's uh, it's all you know very well maintained to tarmac so uh, easy for you um, and then at the end of this uh, just as we hit 10k um, we uh, hopefully it won't have rained so there won't be too many puddles on the road we take another little left and so this is the furthest uh, north that you are on the course now pretty much um, and now you're sort of heading back uh, this is Brook Lane, I think, and there was a car on the way there, just waited for him to go by. And again, this section is is all nice and flat, no difficulties. Um, potentially, if it's very windy, it could be a little bit open, but actually you've got trees on either side, so that's going to keep you um, fairly well sheltered. Um, the straight mile itself is probably the most open section and uh, probably this section here it looks like it's a gentle slope upwards here i don't remember it being that uh hilly when i was driving it as i say i think these uh this section of the course is definitely the flattest um section um you go down hungerford lane and then this becomes a uh, west end lane so these are nice uh, quiet country roads should be getting sort of well into your stride um, and then we take a right onto back onto the B3018 you see my headlamps are on there yeah, it was getting starting to get quite dark I think I turned up the brightness on the camera just to improve it yeah so we're at 12k um, over halfway now apologies the uh, of the aperture I was shooting on my phone not on my GoPro so the I um, uh, wasn't able to set it to 16 by 9 uh, maybe that's something I can try and work out for next time um, and then so that's it's off the main road so that's the uh, the other end of the straight mile and um, <clears throat> now we are uh, again through sort of nice uh, country lanes uh, and again this is all nice and flat at 13 kilometers uh, certainly from 7 to so these last 5k have been nice and flat country lanes uh, not too twisty not too turny um, fairly straightforward really and this is definitely you know the, the flattest part of the course where um, the working organizers can sort of um, definitely say it was this has definitely got PB potential um, some nice little villages I'm going through here I think this is Hinton Road um, and then we take uh, a little left and then uh, a left again on the broad common road just after that yeah, at 14 kilometers. So uh, yeah, two thirds of the race gone. So after that first hilly third, the second third is is nice and flat, and we're still on nice country lanes here. Um, again, this is probably a, a good place to uh, kind of work quite hard, pick up the speed. Some nice houses. Again, the countryside is pretty. This is kind of the most picturesque part of the route, and there was a some people out for a walk there as I pass them on either side um, yeah and again nothing much to note and we just sort of come into a little uh, little hamlet and then we take a little left uh, onto broad common lane um, which is uh, again about as straight as you can get really so nice straight road um, 15 kilometers getting in towards the, the sort of the business end of the race now again this is flat as a pancake um, I was able to I think uh, pick up the speed in the car as well so um, the exact timing of the kilometers on uh, in this car journey does vary because I say some roads were faster than others uh, but this was I think the fastest section for me uh, in the car uh, and then we take a, a shot right back onto the straight mile and uh, this is where we at 16 kilometers so we, we've been on this road already so we're now 
uh, back going the other way um, and what goes down must come up we are just starting the incline now I seem to remember it was it was a horribly slow gentle incline that then becomes quite steep as we pass back over the M4 um, so that's the third motorway hump of four um, and then back down the other side you've got the um, Billingham Golf Club on the left um, this will pick you up some pace again 17k I imagine imagining you're probably hurting at this point I didn't really want a, a slope at 16k um, but there we go um, and then this part of the road it's not as flat as the middle third um, it's definitely got it's either gently sloping up or gently sloping down um, so I don't I think you know it's a it's it's probably going to feel quite a, a, a hard end to a half uh, particularly if you know if you're racing on, on the edge of your of your sort of the threshold zone so we're 18k now uh, just 3k to go 3.1 uh, business end you're coming back to that uh, little roundabout which um, when you were coming in the other direction you took a left off for about 200 meters and then came back that's the only part of the race I, I didn't film because I couldn't do a, a u-turn in the middle of a road but now you're on the route as the car's going so uh, we are uh, coming into the, the last section and you've just got one more uh, motorway to get over uh, it's been gonna go back and let's see you can see the roads at 19k the roads already starting to slope up again it's a long slow painful climb at 19 kilometers uh, when your legs are probably burning uh, over the A329M uh, and then back down the other side I imagine you're probably getting some pace towards the end and you've got to go round the roundabout although I imagine for the race you'll cut on the inside of the roundabout um, there's a runner um, and you're back through this uh, new build housing estate here this is all fairly flat through this section and then it gently slopes up just as you're approaching 20k um, just as basically you're getting back towards uh, Cantley Park so yeah so if you're um, if your friends and family stood and cheered you on um, twice here they might still be here and you take a right this time and we're gonna go around Cantley Park there's Cantley Park on the left you can just see um, and we go around it the long way we take a left and we do complete the, uh, the rectangle around it um, we've got this probably for fairly flat time to really put down put your pedal down get as much uh, pace as you possibly can and then at this next roundabout here uh, we take a final left and this is the final little sprint and um, uh, yeah we're gonna hit 21k roughly about now and then it's a left turn back into Cantley Park where you started uh, and I presume the finish line is just here so yeah that's the course I hope you found it uh, useful um, let me know in the comments below if you found this sort of thing useful and like and subscribe and see you in the next one thanks